We're joined now by Ed Randall. He's the host of Talking Baseball here on WFAN in New York City. And remember when, a baseball nostalgia show heard on Sirius XM's home plate, XM89 and Sirius 209. He's also the founder of Fans for the Cure, which raises awareness for prostate cancer. Welcome to Conversation with Cardinal Dolan, Ed Randall. What Thanks. an honor. Thanks for joining the us. The honor's ours, Ed. No, How welcome you mine. are. And this is reciprocal because, Father Dave, Ed has been gracious in having me on his program. Well, there you go. Before. And hopefully again soon. <laughs> You're on. I look forward to it. We talk about baseball. Usually around Father's Day, huh? Yes, we do. Because, look, I want to get, uh, I could talk forever about baseball. And Lord knows you have been talking forever about baseball. But I'm a l- I'm very inspired by this crusade. And I want to call it that in the best sense of the word that you have. Thank you. You're really doing for men what the extraordinarily noble and successful crusade against breast cancer has been for women, namely prostate cancer. Mm-hmm. And you're making you're making progress, Ed. Cool. You're making it a household word, don't you think? Tell us a bit about your efforts there. My, uh, my, my personal history was that I was uh, 47 years old, no history of cancer in the family, no symptoms, when I went for my routine annual physical. I had prostate cancer. I had a lot of prostate cancer. Uh, after I went into my... Never been tested before. Every year, just go just oh. for routine physical every year. But but there was nothing like the year before. Oh, Ed, we got to keep an eye on. Nothing. No, wow. So about a, after I went into my two favorite words in the English language, in remission, right there with Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, made the determ- I made this determination. On the day in which I was diagnosed, I felt like I feel talking to both of you right now. I was fine. Mm. And I made the determination there could be tens, hundreds, thousands, millions of American men out there like me walking around feeling fine when, in fact, they were anything but fine and they could be time bombs. So we founded the 501c3 dedicated to the proposition of spreading the twin gospels of prostate cancer awareness and the life-saving value of early detection. And uh, we are now in our 11th year of doing so. Uh, Kids could be very good around Father's Day. Mm-hmm. If they simply said, Dad, you know what you could do for us as a dad is make sure you get uh, checked. Well, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, one of the touchstones of the success of the breast cancer movement has been that it is multi-generational. Yeah. 18. Uh, I spoke to more than 2,500 minor leaguers uh, and said to them, I am here literally to save the lives of those in the Cincinnati Reds family, literally, uh, or the Detroit Tigers family or the San Francisco Giants family. That the message that I have to the men in your family, your fathers, your stepfathers, your uncles, your grandfathers, is this. All of you have come from high school and college programs. I'm going to give you the easiest homework you've ever received, and that's this. To tell the men in their family, in your families that they are loved, they are wanted, they are needed, and they are cherished, and they have a responsibility as men to go to the doctors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I told the players... Look, I hope by the time, most times we were doing it like 8 o'clock in the morning before they'd hit the field, I'd say, look, I hope by the time you guys hit the locker room today, I hope that there's a cure for prostate cancer, in which case I'm out of business. In the meantime, I'm going to be the car alarm you can't turn off about this. Wow. (laughs) I think there's a reason why I wasn't taken at 47 years old. Yeah. Yeah. And and this, there is nothing I'm going to do on the air the rest of my life that's more important than this. Wow, wow. And you're doing it very effectively. And thanks again, especially for the work for prostate cancer. That's what we're going to remember. There's a lot of people alive right now who say yeah. who, who is because of you, and yeah. that's got to give you a Thank lot you. of support. Yeah. Somebody's, so. I, I, look, I, I look at it as if somebody's got to do this. And 